right, go ahead, Jade. So we are over at Diamet Just Us Acres, which is my parents, and we are um, we butchered some ducks and a couple of ro extra roosters that we had. I'm going to show you is how we make our um, combs that we dispatch our birds in. So let me show you the ones that we've already got done hanging up on the fence, and then we'll show you how to make one. Okay, if you see the metal cone, that's an actual kill cone. That's a, a, you know a manufactured one. But if you look at this, this is a five gallon bucket and it has been made into a cone. Um, that way you can put the birds down in there and dispatch them and it holds on to them, keeps them from flopping around and makes everything nice and safe and easy for you. And, and you know, kind of makes the, the, the animal feel like they're, they're in a hug and, and they're more secure and they um, are a lot calmer and less stressed. And, and we definitely want that for them um, as, as we're, we're dispatching them. So hang on just a minute, we're gonna show you what we do. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is cut the bottom off. And we've already started it here, just a, you know, a little zip saw. Um, you probably could use a, uh, what, a sawzall would probably work too. But we're just using a little My zip little saw. Dremel. A little Dremel saw. More bottom okay and then what you do cut a v is you're going to cut a v so all right so there's your v and your bottom is gone and now Go quite through the lip. You, cut through the lip. you make your V up to just under the lip and then you cut through the actual lip of the bucket so it's completely separated. You gotta take the handles off. Don't need that. Don't need those. Okay, then you have to drill holes. You gotta drill holes and then you're gonna hold everything together with zip ties. And I don't know if we can do, I can, I don't know if I can do this myself, but. I'll help you do it. You take it and adjust it to however big you want it. So. And usually it works better with two people. Yeah, hang on, let me put the camera down somewhere and we'll do it. Two people. It takes two people because you got to twist it and bend it to however big you want it to it. be. And then you got to hold it. Then you run the drill pieces through, or drill the holes, and then you zip tie it. To hold it. To hold it. All right, how big do you want it? What are we doing here? Oh, we need it big enough for the probably about there, right? Okay, drill a hole. Where am I drilling it? Down, down here. Down drill here. a hole so it goes through both. I have a question. That, stay back. It goes. And then another one. Right? Yeah. Okay. If the zip tie will fit through that one, I might not have the right drill bit. I think. Relax it a little bit up at the top because you can adjust how big you want. Some of these big birds or ducks, you want a bigger one. Then we're gonna so we'll make it multi-purpose here. here. Total? Yeah. Okay. Wiggle that around so you don't know where What are you guys exactly doing? We are building another cone. One more. Yeah. At the top. <laughs> most most of the metal kill cones are pretty pricey. Yeah. 
Thirty-five dollars and more. This, this is, is a so three-dollar bucket, food-grade bucket from Walmart. So we build our own. Our buckets in. So you're you're probably looking zip at about ties. four dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and count but the zip ties. Zip ties and a bolt. To you got double down here, so I would put attach there it, it down farther. Yeah. So you can bolt it up here if you want, or you can cut this piece off and then bolt it down lower. So it's I up to you. I would bolt it down here because up here you're single. You're through both pieces. Yeah. If you do it down here, down then here. you're both sides of the plastic and a lot sturdier. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that off. adjust it there okay see if that works better yeah hey. that we got there all right turn it off all right we got the ducks processed but I needed to stop at this, the farm and home store to get some seed trays for some more seedlings that I'm going to be getting um, done here shortly to start up. And well, I went in for $6 worth of seed trays and I left with more than that. And it's in here. The unboxing. These are the kind of unboxings that I like. Oh my goodness. They really shut this box up, didn't they? All right, so these are Sapphire Gem Olive Eggers, and they are all pullets. There's six of them. And they were a little bit older, so they gave them to me for $1.50. Sweet. I get the water. Okay, well, hang on. We got it. No, not that water, honey. That... Yes, it needs cleaned and brought over here and put in here with them. They no, need water. I'm being lazy. Oh, they're so cute. 